organic waste is one of the major raw material to run a successful black soldier fly enterprise. Without it, you have no business case. I am Martin Tenua, an expert and trainer in black soldier fly business. And today, join me on a journey to learn how to source organic waste as a feed for the black soldier fly larvae. In module one, we saw that the larva is the only stage in the black soldier fly life cycle that feeds. This stage entirely feeds on organic waste. But before we continue, what is organic waste? In this case, I mean leftover food from your home or restaurants, fruits and vegetable waste from food markets, animal manure, brewer's waste, rice brand or maize brand, and also abattoir waste. Right now, we are heading to the market. It's about 10 kilometers from our farm, and we are going to pick food waste for the black soja fly larvae. Right here, we are at Biva Montuyo Market, one of the biggest food market in Kampala, Uganda, and it is producing a lot of organic waste or food waste. Let's go and see it. I'm standing on a huge pile of waste. All this waste you see, it's going to end up in the landfill. We are just trying to offset part of it onto our production facility. When sourcing organic waste as lava feed, you need to consider three major factors. First of all, you need to have a reliable and constant supply of organic waste, either on a daily or weekly basis. But also, be sure that you, the organic waste source is close to your farm to always minimize transportational costs. The organic waste should be free from plastic, chemicals, polyphen bags or cavera, glass and wood. Thank you very much for completing module 5 of our video series on black soldier fly farming. In our next module, we are going to deliver the organic waste, pre-process it and store it for our black soldier fly lab. <laughs>